Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Snapshot 18W46A. Today we have a couple of changes, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have a new block, the Lantern. So here's what the Lantern looks like. You can place it on the underside of blocks or on the top side of blocks. You cannot place it on the side, so if I get over here and try and place it on the side of the tree, can't do it. In Survival, you also need to have a pick. So if I go ahead and switch my game mode to Survival and try and punch this, you can eventually break it, but it doesn't drop the item. You actually need a pick to mine it, so I'll just mine it right here. There we go. And there is a crafting recipe for this in the game currently. The crafting recipe for the lantern is as follows. So you just put a torch into the crafting table surrounded by iron nuggets. And of course, iron nuggets are made when you place a iron ingot into the crafting table like so. So that is the crafting recipe for the lantern. Couple more things about the lantern here, guys. The texture is actually animated, so you can see it sort of flicker if I just stare at it here, so that is pretty nifty. It also does give off light, quite a bit of light. In fact, if we take a look at F3 here, you can see, yeah, right here the the light on the, this block is 15, whereas with the torch, if we get over here to a spot where there's no other light, you can see the light with the torch is only 14. So it produces just slightly more light than the torch does. So that is another great feature of lanterns. Another change this week is to the Pillager Raids. So first of all, the Pillager Raids no longer spawn with the Illager Beast in them. So the Illager Beast, as far as I know, no longer spawns in the game. And they always spawn with five Pillagers in this Pillager Raid party. Uh, there's four here, and then there's one Vindicator, which sort of got left behind back here. <laughs> and they say they improve the AI of the Pillagers, but yeah, given that this Vindicator has sort of been left behind, it still needs a little bit of work, I think. One minor change is that the banner on the lead pillager's head has changed, so it now looks like this. It now has a black border around the pillager face, and it only has six layers instead of seven as it had previously. Another change this week is to scaffolding. So scaffolding can now be placed horizontally two more blocks than it was previously. So if I come out one, two, three, four blocks here, you can see this was actually the limit previously. And if I were to place a fifth block here, it used to fall. But now you can come out a total of six blocks here, and then the seventh one will actually start to fall down. So that makes it a little bit more useful to pillar out uh, sideways with the scaffolding block. I am now encased completely in a building of slabs. Notice anything different? If not, let's take a look at this same structure here in 1.13.2. So here's the same structure with the slabs in Minecraft 1.13.2, and hopefully you can see the difference is that light does not make it through these slabs, whereas in 1.14, it does. And the same thing is the case with the stairs. So if I put a stair down here, yeah, stairs can also not let light through in 1.13, but they will be able to in 1.14. So that is a massive, massive change to the game. Slabs and stairs now allow lighting through, which I think is fantastic. Uh, it's probably been coming for a long time. It's needed to be fixed for a long time. But yeah, you need to be aware of it because I know a lot of people have used the slab trick in the past to be able to look into the mob farm while also uh, not allowing light in. So definitely be aware of that, but again, it does add more things you can do with lighting. For instance, like if you wanted like a little window here that's like half a block wide, now that allows light in, whereas before it was like this. So yeah, definitely a nice change, I think. Some of the new blocks have also been updated. So we have the cartography table. So you can see this one's been updated. There's now like a little globe right here, which is pretty cool. We got a little map here, and then we got like some ink over here. And the wood texture has also changed for it. It used to be just like a one giant map, uh, but now I think this texture has been greatly improved. The fletching table has also been changed. So yeah, it's looking like this now. We got ourselves like what looks to be like part of an arrow here. So we got the feather right here and the, the tip of the arrow right here. Uh, a different type of like arrow and bow on the side, and then of course the target and the arrow on this other side. So that's also looking nice. The smithing table has improved a lot. So smithing table actually looks like a proper smithing table now. So we have, you know, the hammer over here. We got some tongs right here. Uh, we got, yeah, a new uh, sort of color scheme as well with sort of this dark red uh, wood right here. So that's looking nice. And also the, uh, the smooth surface right here. Then we got the stone cutter. Stone cutter has also changed, and you'll see now the texture is animated. So we got this blade that is rotating, or looks to be rotating right here. And yeah, that is the new stone cutter texture. 
There's also a new block this week that seems like it's potentially part of the new changes that are coming to villages, and that is the jigsaw block. So it seems like this might be used to sort of uh, complement structure blocks. So here's what the jigsaw block looks like right here. Uh, you can only get this by doing slash give yourself jigsaw. So that is the only way you can get this thing at the moment. And if we go ahead and right click on it, you can see this GUI open up. So it has a target, an attachment type, and what the block turns into. So I'm guessing this is part of the, the back end technical changes that are going on behind the scenes to get ready to update the villages. Uh, so kind of an interesting thing to see. Uh, it doesn't really do anything at the moment, but presumably it will in the future. So anyways, guys, I think that is going to be it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cobb. Goodbye.